Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video. If you like this new wig, stay tuned so you can see how I custom made it. Alright, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for visiting. On today's video, we'll be talking about this Amazon wig I received. All the details will be listed below in the comment section. I mean, I'm sorry, in the description bar. This wig was supposed to be 18 inches. In my opinion, it is shorter. It, um, it did not shed. It had a slight smell to it. It was pre-plucked, as you can see here. Um, I'm not sure if it's HD lace or something, but you'll be able to see it when you click on the link. It has four hooks and then the standard straps in the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this wig. Wasn't exactly sure what I was gonna do with it, but since it was so short, I thought about adding these two bundles that I also ordered from Amazon about a year ago. I just never got around to using the hair. So I have all my stuff on my table. I'm gonna be using BW2 um, Bleach and Developer 30 Value, that's all I had. So here we go. Okay, originally I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this because I always wear a side part. I just wanted to add some color to it because I always wear black hair. And since it's fall, I wanted to step out my comfort zone. So here you see me mixing the bleach and dye. Um, and I'm going to just start applying it to the hair. Didn't have no direction. Wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. But I was willing to try. So I'm putting it on there and then I'm going to wrap it in some foil so it can process. And then I took a section in the back to give it like a pick -a boo situation. And then I added it on there. So after about 25 minutes, this is what it looked like. It wasn't, it wasn't light enough for me. So I did add some more um, bleach onto the sections that I had already had and then I let it sit on there for additional 20 minutes so I went back through and added I mixed some more developer and bleach and I applied it again just right on top so here is what it looks like after the last 20 minutes so additionally the total time was about 45 minutes and this is how high I lifted which was fine I didn't want to over process the hair because I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to take it after I rinsed it out so here's just what it looks like of course that side is lighter because I put it on there first but trust in the process we trust it together <laughs> I have washed out the bleach. I did not use any shampoo or anything. I just went ahead and washed it out really good to see what the color was like. Of course, since the hair is wet, the color looks darker, which concerned me a little bit. But again, we just trust in the process. So here I will list the three colors I used by Adore that I got from Beauty Supply. I kind of just mixed the three no measurements as you can see I'm just pouring eyeballing it I'm gonna try to put some gloves on but I did realize that I forgot to spray the lace because I don't want it the adore dye to bleach the knot I mean dye the knots because I did not bleach the knots so here I am just pinning the weed back down and then I'm gonna start the process of sectioning off the bleach parts to add the color and I just let you guys watch that I do want to say that this hair is really good quality um, it did not shed after I washed the bleach out it did not tangle um, so it's overall so far I'll give the hair about an 8 out of a 10 only an 8 because the hair is not true to length so that's why I gave it an 8 
I do want to add a disclaimer that I am not a professional. I did not go to hair school. I'm not a hairstylist. I just do my hair and close friends' hair because I enjoy doing hair. I just did not pursue the career of going to school for it. So, yeah, here we are adding the color in the front <clears throat> and trusting the process because I did not know what I was doing. I wasn't sure where I was going with it, but I did want to try something new. Okay, so in this process, you guys, make sure you're being very careful because it's, it is tedious because you do not want to dye your knots. I did not bleach my knots on this particular wig because I didn't want to overprocess the hair. But take your time. Make sure you comb through and get it on the roots, but not on the lace, if that makes sense. Okay, you see, I went back to the back. I just want to make sure it's fully saturated with the dye. Running my fingers through it, combing through it to make sure that every strand that was bleached has the dye on there. Here's a close, closer look of what it looks like. See how the hair is not damaged from the bleaching process, which I was concerned about because some hair does not take well to bleach, but this one did good. And here's what it looks like wet with the dye color on there. Make sure you saturate it, rub it in, make sure it's on all of the strands of the bleach. Hair. Okay, so I left the dye on the hair for about 40 to 45 minutes and then I washed it out. I used the purple shampoo to um, wash it and then I used silicone mix to deep condition it to bring the hair back to life. It didn't die completely but I did want the original curl pattern to come back because it is a body wave wig. Alright, so here I'm going to start customizing. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. So I used my wax stick to press the edges back with my hot comb and I decided to go ahead and go to the back because I wasn't sure if I wanted the side part, middle part, flip over method. But I did want some curls because I always wear my hair straight most of the time. So here I'm cramping it with my crampers I got from Walmart and just trusting the process because at this point I still did not know what I wanted to do with the wig. All right, here you go, you guys. This is the finished product. Here's the wig. Here's the front. I absolutely love how the color turned out. The cramps did it for me. I love the way it turned out. Here's the peekaboo style in the back. Move the hair to the side so you can see it. I love the color. I wish I would have went lighter, but again, it's trial and error my first time trying something new. And if you love this, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and see you next time.